Hi, um, I'm here today to show you um, something which I've been making uh, a few of lately um, from old suspension files. These are some sort of oldish ones, but I did get some cheap from Wilco's the other week. And needless to say, this works with either. So first thing I'm doing is taking off the metal strip that runs along the top. I'm going to pop that down there. And I'm going to tidy up those edges. I'm going to see if I can just line this up. When these hang in a drawer, you're not bothered about whether they're slightly crooked. But this does require them to be symmetrical. So Turn it the other way and give it press. And then the next thing I'm going to do, you might not be able to see it, but these have got um, like several kind of scored indentations. They're not scored very well, I have to say. But I'm going to try and use it. I might have to rescore the lines. Sorry if this is clunky. So I'm just going to press that line back in. But overlappy, but I'm going to go with it just for the purposes of showing. So, next thing I want to do is I want to make a line that is four centimeters in from the edge, and I have calculated that by simply measuring how wide this section this folded section is that is four centimeters so that's what i'm putting in either side obviously if yours are different you should behave accordingly sorry if you can see my head do the same the other side if i can get my roller in four centimeter scoring line and from the one I made yesterday 
which is this, which is a bit of a wallet. The elastic is a bit loose, I need to sort that. Um, but it's got a couple of pockets in it, and this section um, is a bit shorter than the card covering it, but that was marked up at 12 centimetres, so I'm gonna go to the same again. So 12 centimetres up from that fold. I'm going to put a mark and on the other side. And I think Pink. Well, I wrote down some of my measurements yesterday. I did seventeen centimeters, which is there. I'm not going to mark that in. Turn that seventeen, and I have to say these measurements are just simply what I thought was good for what I wanted. You can change this however you want it, depending on how tall you want this section. And this section to be. I wanted a nice deep pocket. If you want a less deep pocket, measure it accordingly to what you think is the best for you. So what I can do now is I can chop off this front part at my 12 centimeter mark. I can get this lined up. I'll put that aside. And then I'm going to get the scoreboard back out. I'll be an almighty clash where my paper thing, my paper cut falls on the floor. Normally, what happens? And I'm going to score four centimetres in from the edge. Oh. Scoreboard's in me. We're not friends. My partner makes cards and she always uses a guillotine and I cannot use a guillotine for love nor money and paper scores these things a little bit the same. Sam Cat Candid is, the, is an understatement. already. Is that right? We're going to group where we, want, where we were. Oh gosh. There we go. Boring. Vaguely. this one round let's see how disastrous this side is I 
less bed that side. Oh no, not much. Good lord, what was I doing? Right, I'm going to go over those again. Use everything falling on the floor. There's somebody out there somewhere who's just as awful with a scoreboard as I am. Right. I think we're okay now that side, aren't we? I'm going to decide I'm done for reasons of sanity. I need another line. I'm not going to decide I'm done. So, the other place I want to score this is two centimetres in from the edge. From the edge, and again, this measurement is dictated by this measurement on the bottom sort of gusset. So, I'm basically just copying. We were along the bottom. So that. Come on, Smith, get it together. Fold along where we scored. Yeah, I want to fold that that way as well. So I'm folding both lines inward. Mine's just split along the bottom gusset. That's okay because that's coming off anyway. So we now have what is roughly going to be our folder. I'm going to score that 17 line actually. So you remember I marked on the back 17 centimetres. Um, so this is 20 centimetres, 20.5. Got some 3.5, don't I, to make that right? Is that right? I've not got a line. Yes, I have. Works if you look up if you look at the right number. So seventeen. Oh look at that, it's right on my line. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Right, so there we go. And my sides.
folding in. Put one of these. one of these no that's fine yeah that's fine I did fold that back it doesn't need to be but it's, it doesn't hurt right so let's get figure out what we can what paper we can get rid of now so I am going where's my pen to make a line where this bottom seam comes up to. So I'm literally going to draw along there. Um, I'm going to fold it over and do the same that side. And I'm going to push that seam the other side do it this side too. And then I'm going to fold this up and I'm going to draw a line along here and I'm going to draw a line along there. And then I'm going to take my scissors Chop off that central section between those two lines. Oh, God, I do some very. I always feel like when I'm filming, I act like a woman who's never seen a pair of scissors before. I always think if I turn it, I can see that seam better for some reason. I don't know if there's any logic to that, but, you know, that's what I'm sticking with. So, and then I'm going to cut that section. Slightly, I might be slightly out of frame at this point. I'll try and put this in the middle. So, this is what basically we have now. So, we have our folds for our wallet, and this is going to be part of our overall flap. As you can see, this part isn't quite long enough, but don't worry, we're going to sort it. So, what we're doing with these is these two flaps are going to go inward like so so these sort of fold in and get stuck there which means what we need to do if you want to pocket it down the middle of this we need to measure where these are going to be because we want a bit of an overhang it doesn't need to be right to the fold so that's 18 centimeters near enough so I think if we do I think if we do 17 actually, I think that would be absolutely fine. Let me find a piece of paper and write that down. So 17 centimetres wide. And then again, I'm avoiding that bottom fold 
but just a smidge over 10 centimeters so it's actually 10.1 Side. This is the paper I'm going to use to cover that fold up and also do my central pocket. Um, this is from this paper pad, Folkland paper pad by Dovecroft. Not sure if you can get it in the US, but you can certainly get it in the UK. Well, you could. Uh, so, 17 centimeters wide, 10 centimeters high. So let's do 10.1 high first. line it up according to the top because that's the bit we're going to see. So there we go. There is the basis. Now what I'm not going to do on camera but I would actually probably recommend doing is reinforcing the seams of this with some washi tape. You would do that towards the end. I'll try and remember to tell you when. But if I show you this folder, I don't reinforce inside, I reinforced outside because I thought I had this lovely wash in. I think it looks nice just to kind of appear when you stretch it. Um, I'm not going to do that with this one, but I think it's, or not on camera anyway, but I think it's something that is really well worth doing. So, Next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue this bad boy together. And I am going to glue this bit here. So basically these two bits face each other and glue onto each other and in doing so they reinforce they reinforce that middle um, divider so that's the end anyway everybody wonders what I'm doing I um this glue so it's 
Carl All Purpose Glue, which I really like. It's another acetone based glue. And it does have this kind of um, lip thing for spreading glue. I don't find it particularly useful. So I always put the glue on and then close it because it literally opens by twisting that top. I always close it and then use the nozzle to spread it around. I think it's easier. So here we go. Basically, wanting to get my two folded seams lined up. And if I've done it right, it should all sit beautifully. We are away. And again, I would say you could absolutely washy over that join and probably, if you can see, you could even put your piece of pretty card in the middle and the outside is there. That would have been far smarter, but you know. I'm not saying anything if you want a bit of a sip of drink. Excuse me. So, now we're going to measure up for covering. So, we are... Sorry, excuse me if my head's in the way. about 21.9 which is what it was last time it's almost like it works 21.9 and then height is and this is where I can actually correct what's happened here because you can see the kind of lower fold stands a bit proud of the upper fold I can actually cut my piece of paper to make that better. So we will excuse my head, 12.2. We're the same this side? No, we're not. I'm 12.1 this side. Did it 12.1. I think these were cheap file folders and they're clearly Cut slightly on the wonk. Let's. No, we'll do this front and then we'll do the back. We won't worry about that yet. And the other thing I wanted to do was just cut a piece of this paper to go just inside. What I want to do is try and gauge I'm going to go 21.7 because it's going to be it's going to need to be a bit shorter to make way for the gusset so <sighs> We've got 12.1 that away. Did with the one I made yesterday. I cut my paper at 20.9 rather than 21.9 and then had to stick a little bit of extra pa paper down the side. It's incredibly annoying. So 
think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. There's no way I'm getting anything out of that one. I forgot these gush when you first open them. sure if anybody else has made anything like this I'm sure at some point somebody has so I'm not claiming at all to invent to have invented this I'm sure more than one person's had this idea So, literally going to take a little chunk out at the bottom. I don't know if you can see. Oh, fell over. Apologies if that made a really horrible noise. Might can sit in there. Right. on its large drugs this bottle. You do always seem to be able to get far more out of them. I hope for a mostly empty bottle than you think you're going to. straight you could absolutely if you were so inclined make this longer and push it down into the pocket that would be absolutely fine could also line it up so it lined up with the paper on the inside 
but I'm just going for this. And then if I'm lucky, I'll have that to go there. I wonder what we've got left there. Let's have a look. Three and a half. So the top, the top folder. So you can see from this one, I've made it quite wide. And basically how I worked out how big I wanted to make that was I stretched this out and measured how wide this could get, basically, which was about three centimetres in this case. Um, and I'm going to do... Same again. Just good to make sure we're not all stuck together. It's not far from three point. It's not far off. The I we might get away with it, you know. I think I might just do that. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pop that there. Job done. Ah. So I want to glue this on now. That's fine. I can glue this on now. God, sorry. You can tell why I don't do a lot of tutorials, can't you? And when I do, they have so far, out of my mass four or five videos or whatever it is now, all been really simple. This one's definitely the most complicated. So, pop that in. I'm going to line that up. going to leave a little bit of a mark, a little bit of a gap for our fold. A bit wider one end than we are the other. I wonder if we can just straighten that up a bit. That's good. So, the back. We are in total there. 1.5. Slightly crooked, so we're going to say 20.5. We are wide. We should be 21.9. It's a miracle. 21.9 wide but what we want to do is we want to give ourselves a flap so if this is my top sort of uh, gusset we then want a flap like so to go over so what did I do last time let's have a look last time we did 10 Do 12. Don't mind the idea of that being a little bit 
longer. So that's going to be 32.5 and then we could probably run, run that up to 33. So let's get another bit of this paper. going to be able to do 33 in one go but that's okay because the front flap we want to be the right way around not the wrong way around so we're going to do 20.5 first Tell me numbers aren't great, friends. And then we're going to do 21.9. Spare cardboard. It's not quite not quite right. That's not gonna work either, is it? Right, what we're gonna use then. Let's see how much of this we've got farms that we need. This is a bit of spare paper from another paper pack that I did my other one with. So we decided we were going to do 13 centimetres, but I'm going to give myself, I think it's good if we could do about 15 and a half because then we could give ourselves a bit of reinforcement on the top as well. So what I'm basically doing is I'm creating my flap. Make sure the fold's okay. 
And then that's going to be the meat and bones of our fiber. It's going to go like that instead because if it, I want anything to show, I don't want that concretey kind of colour to show. I want the blue to show. So let's pop that on first. hide where we put that extra piece in. Um, I am tempted to put a little bit extra in there. No, I'm going to leave it. Right. You would not believe, probably from the way I sound in this video, how many of these I've made. I've made about four or five of them. I've made each one slightly different, which is a bit of a fail error. showed you yesterday just to remind myself because I made some and then I had um, a beautiful nine day migraine which as you can imagine was a joy but funnily enough making paper wallets wasn't on the forefront of my mind came back and made one yesterday and thought, oh yeah, I could do a video about this. I probably needed to practice more, but you know. There we go. So. That's that section. Done. This glue, so you have got a little bit of playing time. You haven't got a lot, but you've got a bit. Fold. I'm going to put a bit in along that edge. I'm going to put a line. 
spearing out, but just want a bit of glue around those edges. Especially since I've pulled it up and put it back down again. Do a flap now. Not long enough. You do need three three sheets of the same paper for this. There is an unfortunately thirty by thirty. There isn't, unfortunately, a way you can get round it. So, let's measure. We should be 21.9, and we are. the fold. I think we're going to do 13. It will have to drop down a bit so there will be a bit of a gap there. But I don't mind that. Do the 13 first. Which way do we want to be? So on the bar. So I can go there. The other thing you could absolutely do with this for that sort of top fold just to make sure you don't get sort of you know gaps and the like is you could absolutely cover that with fabric.
and I think it'd look great actually. I think it would look really nice. Now I've got a bit of a old overhang here. Let's trim that off. Away. And we can take the overhang off this side. not going to bother doing down here um, any sort of overhang in the gusset because if you put washi tape on in those areas along those folds you can hide a multitude of sins without any bother at all In my bin. Right now, I could leave this inside blue, but I'm actually gonna put some more of this in. But what I want to do is I want to inset it a little bit. Just to break up all of that red. So coming in at 21.8 now, so I'm just going to give myself half a centimetre both sides. I'm going to say 20.8, let's write that on there, 20.8, I have to write everything down. And this should be 13, well we're touching it with 13.8, so let's go seem to have given myself a margin around the sides. Let's try that again. Should have been 11.8, shouldn't it? something to do with all those little strips of paper that you cut off. I did make some tags a while ago. Um, I think Gail Nostalelli did a tutorial about weaving paper together and I did do some of that and then I wasn't sure whether I liked my results on that. Hers looked great but I wasn't sure whether I liked mine, if that makes any sense. Sometimes you follow someone's tutorial and it can be a great tutorial and you think that's just the best idea and you do it yourself and you just think well that's a travesty 
but I've yet to find anything else to do with those little scraps other than maybe edging papers with it which I quite like the idea of doing but when I'm making the book do I remember to do it? No not. Obviously if you were doing this you wouldn't necessarily need to insert this part. I've just done it because wanted it to be a bit different. God, we're a bit squiffy somewhere, aren't we? Never mind. I use these for, I've been using these for, um, like, uh, ephemera and bits and pieces. Like I've got labels in one of these. And I put them in, you know, like bags. Oh, I've got glue all over that. I have to rub that off later. Um, yeah, I put things in bags because obviously the one thing you do get with these is you're going to have a hole. But... I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And the stuff that I store in them doesn't really make a difference if there's that little gap there. So, last thing we're going to do put one of these in. And I know this looks like overkill measuring this because I know most people don't. But my eye really, you know, a lot, most, I think most people just do this by eye. And I'm assuming they've been doing it a lot longer than me. So, um, you know, that's fine and dandy. But if I have to rely on doing things by eye, sometimes it works and sometimes it's a disaster. Let's pop that in. See if my sizing's any better. Basically, just done it on two widths of the cover. I could have gone overboard again, but oh, who knows? And I'm not too fussed about what it looks like when it's empty because the point of it is to be full. suspension fire. I hope you 
like that. I hope you think this is worthwhile. Um, thank you very much for watching. I know it was a bit um, ditzy. Um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.